Hey everyone, here's another uh, free Blender Octane plugin tutorial. In this one I want to cover uh, an environ environment that I've rarely seen used and I, it's actually my favorite one. If you like to make uh, planets, uh, asteroids, spaceships and stuff like this, this is probably the environment that you need. So let's take a look. So this is a scene I just made with an asteroid that uh, is crashing on Earth. Let's start from the beginning. So I have this nice asteroid and I want to put it in space. So let's take a look at how you can do that. Uh, in your environment section in the shader tab uh, you have uh, I have an HDRI set by default into the texture environment. If you've never touched this it should look like this which is the basic uh, daylight environment with a nice sky and probably you know this, but you can change this to other uh, environment, which is, this one is the Nishita. But I, what I want to show you is that you can have, uh, there is a third environment, which is not the texture environment, not the, the daylight environment. It's called the planetai environment. And when you plug that in, to the octane environment, it's going to look a lot like the Nishita, but it has uh, two new features here that you don't have into the daylight environment. You have now here an altitude and you have a star field. So let's take a look at what these things do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, Float value. I'm going to put it into the altitude here. And this is going to control the altitude. So basically, the difference with this environment is that it's going to simulate the way the light behaves when you're moving up in, into the atmosphere. So this is a really cool thing to play with. So let's say I put, I put 100, put more. I'm going to add zeros each time and now I'm in space and I have this blue planet underneath which is cool because it's going to give me this nice uh, bounce light here on my asteroid because of the blue uh, sphere underneath but as I, as I said there's also a field here called the star field so I actually made a uh, star field that you can plug in here to get stars here because that space is totally empty of any stars. By the way, I'll put that on my Gumroad so you can uh, try the planetary if you want to. So this is an 8K uh, texture, so it's quite heavy, but since this, this is, uh, I mean, uh, because stars are little dots, I had to raise the resolution, so it's an 8K. And I I just have to plug it into the star field and I get stars. Isn't that cool? Really cool. And um, if you think the stars, um, usually I find them a little bit too big still. So what I do is I reduce them just by half here like this, so I get really small stars, right? She can look at the stars. Wow. But it's not over. That planet here is nice, but it has, it's just a blue ball, right? And I want to change that to something else. So here in this section, you have something called ground albedo. That's where you can actually put uh, some sort of planetary texture. I've got one that I want to try. This is a free planet texture that I found online and I'm gonna put it into the albedo. So I'm just going to drag and drop that texture here and put it into the uh, ground albedo. And I'm starting to get something, but I think this texture needs to be set to a spherical projection. So I'm gonna put that to projection and now you have a nice planet underneath. 
right? You can almost make a you know a scene where the asteroid is falling on the planet like this. And the cool thing with uh, this environment is that the light is actually accurate. When you're in space, uh, the the thing that will be hit by the, by the light is very bright, but the other side is totally dark. So it's going to give you this quite, quite accurate kind of light that I really like. And it's going to look great if you make uh, spaceships in that environment. And you, there's the sun somewhere. Oh, I need to find the sun. This is the sun. If you want to, you can change the size although I would keep it that way and you can still play with the north offset to change the light which is also going to change the light on your planet like so so you can get uh, these really nice effects right I didn't use it, but um, uh, in this section you could also have a glossiness for your planet, an emission, and normal map. So I think that covers the planetary environment. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. See you soon.